Strikers? Orcus? I've been toying with that shit for too long. Time to go back where I belong. Pure Endymion, pure Pendulum. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Who's hyped for this? I'm hyped for this. I'm ready for this. I've been waiting for this for too damn long. Pure Pendulums. Welcome back. Oh my god, I cannot wait to show you guys this video, the most consistent and demonless you will ever see. And in honor of going back to the basics, and in honor of our new I Am Endemian Cloth Playmat, a special giveaway for the best fans in the world. If you've seen the last video, you already know about it. All you gotta do to be entered in this amazing giveaway, the, the winner, by the way, gets this beautiful I am Endymion Cloth Playmat. Oh yes, oh yes. Absolutely beautiful. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. Because at 22,000 subscribers, which we are only, like what? 50 away? Like, can we go get that right now in the next hour? Can we hit 50 subscribers in the next hour? And then we'll release the winner of the beautiful I am Endymion Cloth Playmat giveaway. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and comment down below your favorite pendulum deck. And you know what? That's your better be pure Endymion. Cause that's all we're hitting you with today, baby. Let's go. Hit the subscribe button and enjoy five negates all day. This is the I'm Endymion deck profile. Let's go. A quick reminder, if you want to purchase the beautiful I'm Endymion cloth playmat, there are only 30 left. So get yours in the description down below. Free shipping until Christmas. 45 USD for one player, 55 for two player. Let's go, baby. Consistency, consistent, consistent, consistent. I want the most consistent list possible. Consistently broken list possible. That's exactly what we have over here. Now, before we talk about anything with this deck, I'm going straight into it with a short intro. Now, you guys got to understand what I'm telling you here, that you need to play my lists. When I talk about Pendulum, there's no one in this planet even near the genius that I have with, with pendulums and how they work and the theory behind it. So just please, for the love of God, play my list so you guys can start winning, man. Anyways, before we talk about anything, I want you to look at the draw cards here. You're playing a 26 card deck. Look at these. You play 14 draw cards before you start, before we talk about anything with the deck. You're playing a 26 card deck. Now look at the next cards in the deck. Masteries, institutions, they all search. Do they even, their spell cards, do they even count as cards? Your like, servants, abductors, like the deck extenders, you're only playing broken cards. There are no bad hands. So before we talk about the whole deck, I want you to, I'm going to randomize this. Look at the first five. They're always broken. 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 They're all broken. Like you can look at any five in this entire, all this random randomness you guys see. There's no five in a row that's bad. Consistency is key. Now that we got that out of the way, I will now be explaining the deck choices for you guys. Three servant, three abductors. No one runs abductor. You guys are crazy. Abductor is the engage of pendulums, okay? Abductor is broken. Now, abductor is almost as broken as servant. Why don't you want to play nine servants? You are playing... Nine broken starters with a tenth decent starter in reflection. If you don't open one of these ten, your spell strategy is crap. Your pendulum strategy doesn't work. You're playing a spell deck, which is why you need to really rely on these ten to start with. Mythical beasts are not starters. Magisters are not starters. You guys are playing the deck completely wrong, and it baffles me why you guys don't play abductors. You need to play abductors. Okay, now... We're going to go back to how the list was sorted and talk about everything else. I don't want to talk too much about a doctor because at this point you guys should be already playing it. I understand you can't pen summon a servant or a gazer or a magister with it, but you're not pendulum summoning them anyways. So who cares? A doctor is a plus one, whereas other starters per se are not. Servant is also a plus one, which is servant's better and it puts monsters on field, but nothing is near the level of them. If you hard draw a servant and abductor, fantastic. So when they Cosmic Cycle on your servant, you can now resolve your abductor. Good job. Okay, next. Two Mighty Masters, two Jackals. You, <clears throat> I would love to play three and three uh, to get more negates out. But you, the deck already consistently puts up five to eight negates easily with the extra decks utilized here a lot with Appalooza, IP, Dweller, etc. You don't need too much of them. Before, people relied on them too much for all the negates, but they do brick. Mighty Master Bricks, Jackal Bricks, they just brick, it, it, plain, plain and simple. 
You do need to play a second Jackal in case you banish one, and you do need to play a second Money Master in case you banish one, and in case you hard draw one, and sometimes if you play one of each and you'll play no Desires, which I did before, if you hard draw one of them, there's going to be times Servant's going to want to summon the, that specific one you drew, so two is correct, you don't need to play more than that. Next, three Razor, three Corner Graph. People fail to realize, Razor and Corner Graph are not just extenders, they are spell extenders. They go in the scale and leave the scale, hence they are green. Hence, they are spell cards. So you are actually playing 26 spell cards, 14 of which are draw cards, 10 of which are draw 2. Like, the consistency is incredible here. They all make Electrum, they all leave the scale and put monsters on board. You need to play three of them. I know people are cutting razors, you're fried, you need to play the razor. And Razor and Chronograph are not just extenders, not just spell cards, but they allow you to play Allure of Darkness. Which now, Allure of Darkness, without Razor and Chronograph, I'm not playing Allure. Without Razor, I'm not playing Allure. But now that you have Razor, uh, 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 Chronograph, Jackals, Money Masters, Abductor to search a dark servers, to search a dark master, to search a dark uh, 26 card deck, now it's, uh, Allure is fantastic. Without it, you can't play Allure. Broken. Okay, you need to play it in all Endymion decks. Uh, maxed out. Completely maxed out. As you realize, by the way, there's no Dark Worm. I don't want my Dark Worm to get called by the grave. Crowed, Skullmeistered. It's just a waste of a card for Pendulums. Now all those cards are dead for your opponent. Now the Skullmeister your opponent has, the Crow your opponent has, they're dead. The Called by, they're dead. You're not siding hand traps, they're dead. So now when you face Orcus, they're playing with half of their hand dead. Uh, good job. Their Shark Cannon's dead. They're going to summon back an Electrum to link with. Good job. Take him, no problem. Alright, I'm just a Magister uh, Reflection it back to my extra deck. Anyways, uh, now... Well, one Gazer, obviously. Okay, one Magister. A lot of you guys play two Magister. It baffles me. Why? The card, it, it does nothing. Uh, it's not a starter. If you open it, you need to hard draw a Cerberus with it, which is also crap. You, uh, you're playing a bunch of cards that go in scale, right? So you summon a Servant or Abductor in scale. Draw, draw, draw. You draw into Mythical Beast. Whoa, it is Cerberus useless now. Cerberus is a bad card. You're only playing one of it to be able to get it whenever you want to with Servant or occasionally Electrum, to like something like Pop Institution, uh, to draw or pop like a monster on field, get the Cerberus, draw a card, and then summon it, something like that, or going second to someone's Servant to banish a card, Reflection just for going second. After siding, you take out the uh, going first. When you side for going first, you take out your Reflection and your Cerberus and put in two secret villages. All right. That is the monsters. Uh, needless to say, this deck never bricks. Like I said, you have 14 cards here that uh, the only time you bricks is when you draw five monsters that aren't spells, which you have three Servant, three Abductor, two Mighty Master, two Jackals, uh, uh, Gazer, Magister, Reflection, Cerberus. So it's like just the Endymion cards, which you just need to play just as the engine, and everything else is spell cards. The deck is beyond busted. I can't even begin to explain. Two blue boys, two secrets, one knowledge. A lot of you guys play one blue boy, two secrets, one knowledge. That is ridiculous. That is like, imagine playing, uh, you're literally playing three Brilliant Fusions and one Garnet, when you could be playing four Brilliant Fusions and one Garnet, but even better, because now if you hard draw the Garnet, you can still use it. In Knowledge, you can still use it, because they're catching the, my Drift here, and you can even use Brilliant Fusion from hand. So it's like it's broken. Like, if you draw two of them, it's fantastic. If you draw normal Blue Boy, the Imperm, fantastic. Now use your Secrets. Drawing two of them is great. If you draw two of them, you normal blue boy, get secrets, get knowledge, and then you knowledge the extra one in hand and save the blue boy in hand to do link shenanigans with that you guys are not utilizing. And it allows you to use Crowley and Alistair in a really good way. So Alistair's here because when you now go into a bunch of draw plays, and I will do videos in the future, maybe at the very end of the, uh, the video, we'll do one quick quick one, uh, I'll pull up a quick replay or something, where I'll show you guys how to play the deck properly, where you could draw zero spells and still have five negates, just because of Crowley, and if you draw with Saryuja, uh, and then draw into hard user normal summon and draw secrets, that's what Alistair's for, you go Alistair and just secrets knowledge, uh, the uh, knowledge away the Alistair. Next, two desires through your lore. The only fallback of desires is not, if you banish anything in the monsters, who cares, but look at this uh, ratio, right? If you don't open Blue Boy or Secrets in a 26 card deck, okay, let's see Open Desires instead. What's the chance that you don't open one of these four, open Desires, banish the Knowledge, and then draw one of these four? That's like 1.0 bajillion zero zero percent chance, okay? Uh, or just one. Well, no percent chance happening. It's just never going to happen. Uh, the ratio of you not opening one of these four, banishing the Knowledge, and then opening one of them? 
There's just no way. If you op don't open one of the four, but draw the desires, and then banish the knowledge, and don't draw one of them, or don't banish the knowledge, that's like, okay. But you're never gonna not draw one of these four, draw the desires, banish the knowledge, and then draw one of these four. It's way too low of a chance. Three allure, like I said, with these, you need to play it. Ten cards that say draw two, broken. Four cards that just say draw. You're playing the most consistent Servant Abductor Turbo deck possible, which is the only way you could be playing Pendulums right now. Three Mastery, broken. One Citadel. We do play one Citadel because in random hands, like I said, you don't want to ever brick. If Pendulum could play, you auto win. Especially because you throw in a bunch of auto win side cards. So, going first, going second, you just win. The deck's broken. Now, Mastery uh, searches the Citadel. Uh, reflection searches Citadel. So, at times, when you open, when you need the extra spell to resolve your spell counter cards, you search the Citadel. So, it does come up sometimes for one. And two institution. You're not playing a big mythical beast count, but because you're playing abductor, servant, all these cards that hold counters, institution is a very good card. And you're basically playing five, uh, eight servants. So the deck is broken, as you guys see. Uh, and one more thing to touch about Magister is it's searchable by three mastery, uh, two institution, electrum. So you get it after the combo to extend. You don't get it before, it's not a starter. As for the side deck, as I said, two villages we put in for the reflection and Cerberus. If you're playing a deck that dies to one secret village and a jackal, like like for example, if you play Sky Striker or some decks just play a lot of spells, like Striker Orcus, honestly, uh, they die to one jackal and one village. So for decks like that, I would side in the terraforming as well for uh, whatever you deem, uh, maybe a third razor, maybe a third mastery because you don't want to hard draw doubles, especially when you're playing so many draw cards or uh, the institution. Or something, even the La Citadel, just to ensure. Because if you draw literally just a, a Pen Summon Jackal Village, you win against a lot of those decks. Now, going second, this is what you do. Uh, if you look at this, the side deck, right? Three evenly, three system down, kills Orcist. Three reboot, three evenly, kills back row decks. Three Dark Ruler, three evenly, kills combo decks. So a combination of these six cards you put in for all the meta decks, you put in and you'll take out what you deem is unnecessary for the matchups. So what I would take out for the certain matchups, but it's just a generic one, is I'll take out a uh, third Razor, I'll take out the third Mastery, because you're drawing so much, you're bound to draw extras. And I would take out the th uh, the next Blue Boy. Uh, it's so tight, I don't want to take out anything. Sometimes I even take out like, a Jackal or Money Master, to be honest. Uh, sometimes I'll take out one Institution and a Citadel. I'll take at least five. Uh, maybe even like the sixth or the second institution, just in case it could brick sometimes. But like you never bricks, to be honest. But uh, if they get rid of the, it's easy to play around for your opponent when going second. Like this pop the other one. I'll probably take out these six. So I'll take out these six and put in the six that are best for the matchup. Extra deck, one electro. Let's put back to put this back in order. All right, uh, I'll put that there. All right, one electro, one Crowley. Crowley's so good with Blue Boy, especially after you pendulum summon. You could draw like five monsters, no spells. Uh, and Crowley just ensures you get the spells and resolve the Magister. A lot of the times, Electrum searches Magister for me, put it in skill, I Crowley, get the spells, activate Magister. Like, it's just broken. Alistair, like I touched up on before, it's when you use Ayusha or Nightmare Draws, and you already you draw into Secrets or Knowledge, you already use your Normal Summon. So you go into Alistair to use Secrets, Knowledge, then draw. Uh, two to, uh, yeah, and then uh, one IP Mascarena. One, uh, IP Master comes up a lot, especially because you keep the Electrum on field to draw with it with Mighty Master, because Mighty Master are bound to scale. And then after you draw, then you use IP Electrum and the dead cards are already negated to go into a fresh Appaloosa for four to kill them. And you're going to have like four cards in hand and you just kill them. Uh, uh, Draco Masters of the Tenyi. A lot of times you're going to have an extra monster on board. It gets you the most value out of your pen summon for three and link one of them into uh, the Appaloosa or the IP, whatever you feel. So Yuja comes up a lot. You need to play it. Appaloosa, Nightmare, Phoenix, Nightmare, Unicorn, Boral Sword, Boral Load, Dweller, Tornado. Dweller you can make extremely easily. The normal board I make would be a combination of two uh, to four of the Jackals and Mighty Masters, uh, an Appaloosa and a Dweller. Something along those lines. If you know you're facing a backer deck after side, you can go into Tornado instead of the Dweller. It does come up a lot, to be honest. The Tornado. Everyone's cutting the Tornado out of the deck because you're playing Curtain Raises and Abductors and you know you're playing a backer deck. Tornado Dragon is sometimes just remarkable. So having like all the back row hate is just good to have. And there's a lot of space in the extra deck. One absolute one Vortex. The deck is broken. I went through it as fast as I can for you guys. The list is amazing. Try it for yourselves. Pure Endemian, baby. Hope you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next video. Peace.